there in the first half, I thought Belmont uh, really got off to a, a great start, obviously, extended the lead to 17. I uh, thought our guys were able to chip away there uh, to end the half, cut it down to eight. Uh, as you look toward the second half, I thought our guys came out, uh, played very well. Uh, the defensive energy was very good. Come all the way back, tie it up. And at that point, I believe we had four, maybe five possessions uh, where we weren't able to take advantage and score. Uh, I thought we rushed a couple perimeter shots in, in those situations. And then uh, Evan Brads made the back-to-back -back buckets there to go up four and playing catch up the rest of the way. But I thought uh, defensively, uh, I thought they were very good. I thought they, they really bothered us on, on some of our uh, jump shots from the perimeter. And then I thought our, our defense in the second half was good for some contested shots. I think when we go back and watch the film, um, I think the offensive rebounds uh, that we gave up off those possessions uh, really hurt us there late. Uh, what did you tell the team at halftime after going down 17 and being able to fight back to eight? What did you tell them? Well, we just talked about some of the corrections we needed to make. We, we struggled some on the ball screen coverage there. Uh, they just put you in such tough spots because uh, Brad's is so good down on the block. And then they surround him with, with four guys who can really shoot it. Uh, so, so we just went over our coverage there and, and talked about you know, how we wanted to attack offensively. Um, a minute and a half to go, and uh, uh, you guys are trying to drive the lane. Uh, looked like a couple of no calls. What did you see from... From your angle. Yeah, I, I, I'm not allowed to comment on the officiating, so let's move on from there. Uh, you talked about Evan Brads being a force down low uh, and surrounding them by three-point shooters. Uh, one that really stood out was Amanzi Egekizi. Just talk about how he played. and. Well, he did. He hit some big threes. Uh, that's where they, they can put you in some tough spots because their, their fours really shoot it. And... Uh, you know, still the percentage, four for 12, uh, you can live with that. He's a guy who's shooting almost 47, 48% coming in. Uh, but you got to clean up those offensive rebounds. And I thought he made, he, he was the one on some of the misses, uh, not his, but some other threes they took. He, he made the, the hustle plays and, and got them some extra possessions. Um, they shot six for 18 for three in the first half, and you held them to 18% in the second. What did you guys change in defending the three-point shot? Well, I thought, I thought we were just were overall better in our, in our ball screen defense, and I uh, thought we did a better job of contesting. Uh, but, you know, the first half, they, they were so efficient from two. I, mean, I think they missed two two-point baskets in the first half. Second half, I thought, for the first you know, 10, 12 minutes of the half, I thought Terrell Miller did a really nice job defending Brad's in the post. Uh, but uh, he, he made some big plays there when the game got tight. With Belmont um, not being a, a great team at stopping teams getting to the free throw line, your ability to get to the free throw line, was that, was that key in the comeback to tie it up at 54? Well, I thought it was important there. Uh, we were struggling to score a little bit early in the game, and uh, we were really aggressive after ball reversal, driving the gaps and, and getting to the, to the basket. And you know, we were able to get to the free throw line some and knock them down. I think we'll also we'll look back that first half. I thought we had some opportunities. We got to the basket and didn't finish. We didn't convert some some plays there on some some really nice drives and and uh, you know as part of it. Uh, but no, I think you know our ability to get to the free throw line is no secret. You know games we've played really well. We've been able to get there. Coach, uh, last question. We'll let everybody get going. Maybe speak to we're back in a deadlock again. You got it's a six game season. Well, that's what we talked about with the team after. Uh, and we'll get right back to work tomorrow. Uh, it's got to get better. Uh, but it is. Uh, the season resets. I believe I uh, hadn't seen all the results, from, but I believe it's a three-way tie and, and first in the West. And uh, it's a six-game season. And uh, we, we got, I guess, five days now to prepare for a very good Moorhead State team on the road next Wednesday.